Hello, welcome back. This will be a demo of a computer control of a factory. Before I get started, I'd like to show you the factory itself. As you can see, the factory is comprised of a number of production cells organized in stacks or columns, uh, all fed off the uh, main bus. Each cell has the uh, same regular layout. A number of inserters that feed the material into the assembler. Inserter that outputs the product into the smart chest. And an inserter that uh, removes the material from the smart chest, puts it on a belt, and then allows it to enter the logistics network. Now the uh, the chest is connected to the red wire bus and provides the quantity of the material produced. Inserters are connected to the green wire bus and accept the commands from the computer to produce stuff. In this case it's going to be a medium power pulse. As long as the difference between the red wire value and the green wire value is less than zero, the inserters will provide the material and will place the uh, generated product into the smart chest. As soon as that dis difference disappears, the assembler will stop assembling. Now. If we look at the, uh, for example, the, the smelting area, we have a similar type of a layout. Smart inserters connected to the green wire bus and the chest connected to the red wire bus. If we check the uh, red wire bus right now, we find that um, these uh, chests are providing the quantities available in the chests and or storage tanks. Moving on into the uh, oil refining area, we'll see the same type of uh, idea. A number of refineries they are set up to either produce the uh, advanced gas processing or the regular pumps which are controlled by the green wire bus and the storage tanks which provide the uh, quantities of the uh, desired fluid on the red wire bus. Now the, oops, I'm having a problem I guess avoiding all these pipes. One thing that the uh, refinery area also has is these steam engines. The purpose of these is to vent the appropriate fluid in case uh, there is an excess. For example, if, the, uh, if there is too much uh, uh, heavy oil uh, and that uh, prevents the production of gas, uh, they can be vented. So that's it for the uh, actual factory. So why don't we head down to the uh, computer and take a look what happened here. Computer hasn't really changed <laughs> Uh, we've added uh, quite a bit of memory in the form of a read-only memory as the program is much bigger and the uh, input area input port has been substantially beefed up as well as the uh, output port. Now input receives the uh, input from the uh, red wire bus and from the control panel 
which contains the quantities to be produced. In this case, I've set it up to produce some stuff. We can also add uh, some. Oh, we have inserters already. Okay, how about some um, curved rails? Some big poles. Ah, good enough. Computer is initialized, so it's ready, waiting for the input. Let's get, let's get the show started. Let's see what happens. The first step in the program would be to order the quantities of uh, desired product. In this case, we need ten chests, five curved rails. 50 regular rails and so on. As the orders are being entered we should start seeing the uh, re requirements being put on the green bus. Indeed they are. Let's see what's happening with the factory while this is going on. Okay we are seeing some activity here production is happening. Okay, here we go. Uh, computer detected that the uh, light oil was too high so it started venting it. Now it's detecting that certain orders have been finished. And it's issuing the uh, inventory collection orders right now. Belts are still being produced, I guess. Okay, here we go. Belts are done. And finish. Here we are. That's it for the demo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I'll be most happy to answer them. Goodbye.